Welcome to Dollywood. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the theater. Note the clearly marked and unobstructed exits on either side of the theater for use in the unlikely event of an emergency. According to Tennessee State Fire Code, smoking is not allowed in the building. In consideration of other guests, please silence your cell phones during the performance. At the conclusion of this performance, please dispose of trash and the receptacles conveniently located outside of the theater exits. Thank you for your time and attention. Right now, please welcome to the stage from Trio again at the Show Street Palace Theater, three times a lady.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Dollywood's dreamer in chief, the Smoky Mountain storyteller, Miss Dolly Party. Well, how about a hand for three times a lady? I think I need to get away from that turning wheel there. Well, how's everybody doing? Well, can you believe that we are in our 39th season here at Dollywood? I know when I heard the girls singing all those beautiful songs, all those songs I did with Linda Ronstadt and Emily Lou Harris, I thought, wow, I have so many precious memories of so many things that I've done through the years. And, been lucky enough to work with so many great people. And of course, you're gonna be hearing them a lot uh, during this season, because we're gonna be doing a lot of the things that we did with the trio, but they are so wonderful. But we're done, was going in bed, starting up Hollywood. We did for Dollywood. We got a whole lot of things to tell you about just a little bit later on, but I'm a pretty big winner myself. You know the stuff I've been doing? Did you notice how to become a rock star? <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, ain't it? Me a rock star at my age. But I'm really proud of that. I really, uh, worked hard on that. That was one of the things I did last year. And one of the things I'm proud of stuff, too, is the fact that we opened our new heart song lodge and resort. And there. Of course, I love the Dream More Resort. We've kind of vamped it up a little bit too, so I love that. And of course, we do great things like sing at UT. Look, in my head, please, but I got to be with me. Be down there with UT, all those great people. And of course, I'm have <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to pull this off or not, but I'm going to dress like the Dallas Cowgirls. Somebody said, oh, you're not serious, are you? And I'm dead serious. I figured if I could pull it off, it'd be a cute thing, which it turned out to be. If it didn't turn out good, they'll just say there's some old lady doing a stupid thing. But... Everybody said, you need to do a poster of that. You think I should? <laughs> well, I might. I might. But anyway, do the pet gala. Did anybody see that with all those cute little dogs? That was so fun. And of course, I have a whole lot of new things before, and everybody always wants to hear about that. And a little later on, we'll be talking about all the things that we're going to be doing with me. But I just can't believe that this is our 39th season, and we've got things this year and some big for next year our quarter 
But anyway, we continue to grow every year. It's thanks to you. I looked out of the lot. When I came in, I thought, oh, my Lord, look at all those cars, all those people. And I'm so proud of every bit of And this record, again, in 23, we could not do any of that without the hard-working hosts here at Dollywood. We're so proud of them. Thank you for them. We love them. Of course, now, we're continuing to work the shortening lines and put on you more cheap. Of course, but I'm very proud of everybody who do that. So now let's take a look at the year ahead and make 2024. I'll be ready to tell you more about it. I might bring somebody out with me. Okay, we'll see it.
We're back. Does that not look awesome? Well, this handsome fellow right here, this is Eugene Naughton. He's the president of Dollywood. He's the one help. That's my pink spot. Yes, I'm getting over, over there. there. We have our own marks. And yeah, we got uh, Jack and Sherry Hirsch in here. Are you right down there? Our partners, good to see you. We got so many great things going. So why don't you tell the folks about you some know, stuff? You know, we have a very big plan yeah. this year. We invested over a million dollars in uh, sound equipment and light equipment for this brand new show that we're doing in this uh, facility. And I'll tell you, our success will start with your music this year. Good, we had a lot of it. <laughs> we, had such a, <laughs> we had such a successful launch celebrating the 50th anniversary of I Will Always Love You, we turned it into a brand new music festival to open this year. I'm glad you kept that around. And more, and more importantly, everyone loves the shows that you do, so we're adding three new shows to the start of this year. Well, you know what? We heard some of the first show earlier with the three times a lady, they're gonna be doing uh, several of our trios. As I mentioned, celebrating those great trio albums in a show that we call Trio Again. Yep, and that show is gonna be in the Show Street Palace Theater. Well, we're also gonna be doing a Broadway style production in this very theater, showcasing my music and my life. And we call that From the Heart. The last show, I think, might be my favorite show. You've been trying to get me to sing with you on stage since I started here in 2019. Yeah, I know. And I've been so afraid to do that, but we have the best chance for everyone to get a chance to sing along with some of your most favorite love songs. That's down at Rivertown, right? That's gonna you know, be for years I've been trying to get Jack Hershon to sing, and then one time he did, and never again, Jack. <laughs> Never again. So you better really step and, up, and Eugene. Of, of course, that's going to be called the Dolly Sing Along Show. Yeah, everybody's going to get to sing, right? So I think we may try to do okay, that. Okay, I think what we're going to do is I heard there was a party. Yeah, look at her. Who's now that? Now we need everyone's help with this, okay? It you can't get to just sing be along. us. Now, we think you know the song, but if not, just follow the bouncing butterfly. Everybody ready? I apologize to my well, wife YouTube. and children, because that's going to be YouTube forever. I know. I, I didn't know you couldn't sing. I mean, you had me fooled. I thought you were going to do pretty good. Actually, you did. Uh, <laughs> but you don't make your living singing. I do, right? You're doing a pretty good job doing what you're doing. Jack, you can feel better about yourself now. <laughs> oh. And you know, we have, a, we have a lot planned over the next couple of years that I'm really excited about. You've already mentioned our 40th anniversary, and I cannot believe that that is gonna be here. So we've got some special things planned that's gonna help us celebrate that, but just the tip of the iceberg, we're adding some more parking to our parking lot because there's yeah. so many people that wanna come see us all the time. And that's gonna, that's gonna be great, and 
a brand new fancy restaurant that's coming. Yum. Because I know how much you love to I eat. I love to eat and I love all the food we have on the park. So that'd be great to have some more of it. Yep, yeah. and we've been hard at work in the planning stages for a new game-changing attraction for 2026. And I know all of you are gonna love what it's gonna be. Yeah, I know they are too. And we can't forget, you mentioned Heart Song uh -huh. and Dream More, but there's a lot more to come. So we're working hard on our properties uh, advancement and hospitality. Well, we promised that we were going to have five by the time that we're done. I thought I told you you were supposed to say that you promised there would be five. Well, we promised. I uh, promised and you promised. What else did you promise me? <laughs> well, we're, we're working hard on all of these items, but also all the dreams that you want to see come true at Dollywood Parks and Resorts. Well, I cannot tell you how proud I am of all the things that, that all of you have done. I've just been so blessed through the years to work, as I mentioned, with the Hersham family and all the great people here at the park. And you've been a blessing to us all. So thank you for that. Well, and you. I know that we got the press here too. And I, I bet, bet you there's yeah, going to be some there's, people. There's, there's, there's probably a few wanna, questions in the audience that for you or for me. are going to come. It's, oh, you're answering, not me. Oh, you think? Okay. Yeah, you're, well, you're I'm ready if you are. Anybody have a question? Dolly, we've got Jessica right here with our first question. Hey, little girl. There you are. Look at your little coat of many colors. I love that. <laughs> okay, what was the question? I got distracted. This Hi. Oh, sorry. Hi, Hi Dolly. I'm uh, Jessica Fender with the New Orleans Times Picayune and Triple A. And uh, down in New Orleans, you know, beads, sequins, colors, costumes, wigs, a huge part of our culture. I cannot wait to see, and I'm hoping you can tell me when. The Dolly Parton Experience opens in a couple months, and behind the scenes open, what surprises are we gonna find in your closet? And can I borrow a couple pieces? Well, there's a whole lot of stuff in my closet. <laughs> 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 You're talking about our new uh, experience, the Dolly Experience, and it's really our new version of our museum, and I'm really excited about that. It's gonna have a whole lot of things. Uh, so it will have a lot of the clothes, and it will have a lot of the, you know, some of the clothes from different movies and things that I've done. But it's more about my history, my life coming up in the business has a lot of my family and a lot of all the things that I've been a part of for all these many years. You know, I started when I was a little old bitty thing. Well, I'm still a little old bitty thing, but I'm just <laughs> older now. <laughs> but. But anyhow, I think you're going to love it and the way that they put it together with a lot of the new technology and kind of staying up with the times. I still have a fax machine and a flip phone myself, but it's real high tech and I think you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for asking about the experience. We've got another question here from Adam. Hey, Dolly, how are you? I'm Adam from the TV series Queen City Country. Great to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I think everybody would agree that your new album, Rockstar, is so stellar. It's amazing. You collaborated with so many icons on Rockstar. If you could bring one to Dollywood, to the park for a whole day, who would it be? <laughs> well, you know what? I'd have to have all of them because I can't just single one person out on that rock album because I was so blessed. Uh, I don't know if many of you have the record, but it's doing really well and it's done great, but it's mostly because of so many, you know, of these great iconic singers like, like Steven Tyler and Steve Perry. And of course, uh, you know, we have uh, Stevie Nicks. And of course I enjoyed singing with Emmy Lou uh, and Sheryl Crow on one of uh, mine and Linda's and Emmy's duet songs called You're No Good. So uh, I'd probably bring them up and join this other trio group if I had my chance to say who I was going to bring. But I was very honored to sing with people like Sting and Paul McCartney and Ringo played the drums on all that. So I felt very honored and very proud that I got a chance to just work with those great people that have really been great in their field. You know, like hopefully I have been in ours all these many years. So it's great to bring back a lot of those great stars that hadn't been out in the public for a long time. And they seem to be pleased to get to be on the record and it's done really well. Listen, if you want to hold a thank you party for all those people and bring them here, I'll, I'll welcome them. Ah, well, that sounds like a plan. And you know what? I bet a lot of them would love to come because they were very, uh, they were very nice people and very complimentary of all the things that we've done through the years. And they all said, well, we'll come to Dollywood. Some of them already have been. So thanks for the question. Claudia's got a question for you now. Hi there, Dolly. 
I'm Claudia Coffey with WHAS TV in Louisville, Kentucky. Thanks for having us all here today. All the new shows look so incredible. What do you hope that families enjoy the most about those new experiences and the music that they get to enjoy? Well, what we always hope, and that's why what we built Dollywood on is just making, making memories and living every moment, as we say, and just remembering that this is a wonderful place for families. It is kind of built on that to say you can bring everybody, have a good, wholesome fun here. We had enough stuff to entertain even your teenagers with our roller coasters and all the great things and all the great shows. So I have to honestly say I'm very proud of all of it. And of course, I'm always proud of my family show, you know, where my brother Randy worked for years and my sister Cassie and now Heidi, my niece, and a lot of my cousins working over there in our family show. So I'm always partial to that, of course, but we have great shows all over the park, great food all over the park, and just something great for everybody, I think. And Dolly, this is the final question. Where are you at? I'm a, over here. <laughs> oh, okay. I started to say, get rid of them people. They're getting the hogging over here. <laughs> okay. Hi there. Hey there. Chad Tucker from WGHP-TV in North Carolina. Um, over the last 50 years, your song, I Will Always Love You, has been a great healer for many people going through life's trials. Music has always been a, um, a way of getting us all through things, through those tough times. I, I witnessed it firsthand when your music helped my daughter, who's with me today, uh, get through 858 days of childhood cancer. Oh, mm. how sweet is that? Well, I'm so always so happy to be of any help of any kind to anybody. Absolutely. That's very sweet. Well, good luck to you. You're known yeah. as the, uh, the book lady in our house, but uh, <laughs> that also sings. But um, whether it's a coat of many colors or nine to five, it really lifted her spirits during those tough days of chemo and pain. So my question to you is, do you recall when music first did that for you? And was it a certain song that lifted you or even helped heal you? The song, I Will Always Love You? Or any song. Oh, any song. Well, song? actually, they all mean something to me. I think my favorite song, and I often get asked, is My Little Coat of Many Colors, because it's a true story. Kind of follows my life and talks about family and home, acceptance and all that. And, of course, I Will Always Love You has, like you mentioned, been a song that's touched so many people's lives. And, uh, of course, I've done it with a diff few different people. And, uh, of course, when I wrote the song, I wrote it when I left the Porter Wagoner show, a show I was with for seven years back in my early days, and one of the shows that helped give me my start, and I wanted to go ahead and move on with my career, and we had a little, few little problems getting that done, but I wrote that song to kind of signify that, to say I will always love you, and hope life treats you kind, and life has treated me kind, but that song's been uh, important to me all through the years, and of course when Whitney Houston did it, it took on a whole new uh, meaning, money mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, Whitney Houston? Dolly Parton didn't write that song. That's Whitney Houston's song. I said, oh, she can have the credit. I just want the cash. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, thank you for asking about that. But all my songs are like my children, uh, you know, cause you can't, it's like a mother trying to say, you know, which one of her kids she likes the most. I would say they're like my children and I expect them to support me when I'm old. <laughs> and they are, some of them. <laughs> Thank so what you, you. What do you think? Time to leave the stage? I think so, because we got a lot of stuff to do. And uh, we're gonna go clear the stage. So actually, you can see a little part of the show that we were talking about that's gonna be here in the theater about my life story. It's called From the Heart. And I'm really proud of the team that worked with me to produce this show, including Paige Bales here at Dollywood and uh, uh, John Dietrich, who wrote the book and directed the show. So I don't know how much of it they're gonna show, but you enjoy it and we'll be back in a minute, okay? Thank you.
crumpled on a bed and stumbled to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Yawn, stretch, and try to come to life. Mm. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Out on the street, the traffic starts jumping with folks like me on the job from nine to five. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living, really getting by. It's all taken and no giving. They just use your mind and they never give you credit. things I'd never done before, and why not? I had nothing to lose. Everything was happening quickly. Film offers, talk show appearances, concerts, opportunities to produce, new albums, while at the same time, there were always songs to be written and stories to be told. Working, working nine to five. Working nine to five. Working nine to five. Dolly Parton is at the brink of a radical shift that should, if there is any justice in pop music heaven, make her one of the great stars of American entertainment. Working, 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 I set out to get you with a fine tooth comb I was soft inside There was something going on Tender love is blind It requires a dedication Always love we feel Needs no conversation We ride it together Uh-huh Making love with each other See you at the park, okay? Thanks, everybody. See you later. <laughs>